Okay, so thank you to Tom Waddington. I've figured out an actual solution to the problem and what's going on with not being able to um, import your videos, MP MP4s or any video really into your timeline. So as you can see here, I'm trying to drag it in, doesn't work. What you gotta do is there's this button here which it'll move around to where you click and this, see how it's blue now and then it's off, so off, I can't put it on. When it's on, I can then drag it on just like that. That saves you so many hours of trying to figure this out. Now, one thing you gotta be careful though is if you go to different um, media types, you see how that just disappeared? This is a sequ sequence. So on some of them, they do not show up, but on video files, it works. So once you've got your video in there, yeah, just simple as that. So if that solved your problem, uh, I'd stop watching the video here now because the rest of the video is just gonna be my old fix, which was this old video, but that was just patchwork to really get around this problem with the, with the V1. So hopefully this helps you out and we'll see you next time. Okay, here you can see, I'll try and drag this file in and it's showing that I cannot put it in the video, only the audio, and this is an MP4. You can see that the video does work. Instead of wondering why you're not pirating Premiere Pro like everyone else, now, to get this to work, let's drag this into here. Once it's in there, still can't do it. As you can see, we can still have audio, we're still pissed off. Now we right click this, go to new sequence from clip, added that there, but you can see here, now it's in this, this new one. So this is our where we were working before. This is my other timeline where I wanted it. It's over here. Now I just select both of them, control C or control X, whatever you prefer. Now I want it here, control V, paste it in. Now I have audio and video in this other timeline. And you can see here on my other screen, I had it where the video was playing just to show that it works. So I'll hit play here. You can see stuff moving around. Yeah, what's that programming? All right, now we want to delete this one, so we can just delete that and then how do we do this? Close panel, I guess. I guess that worked. Now we have video and audio in our video editing software. Who would have thought that it would be this easy to put your video into Premiere Pro? Just like that. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If not, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.